hello everybody and welcome to my channel so this will be another update for my project polish and I'm not quite sure which update in a row it is but I will put it down in the title so you can see and since the last update I have actually managed to finish two additional nail polishes which is super exciting one of them I really worked hard on and the other one was a complete surprise that I got got it completely finished so the first one here is from Yves Rocher in the shade 71 Menth and this is what that one looks like so it's just this green shade and previously I was down to this line right there and I have cleared out everything out of it since then and it's the last coat here that I have on my fingernails right now of this one and as you can see in the bottom there the glass gives the illusion that it's a lot more product and a lot more um, a lot bigger uh, on the inside than it is so it looks like I have a little bit left it at the bottom there but I cannot get any more of it out at all so unfortunately this is what I have to work with and I have put in a lot of thinner in here to make this final application so I'm really glad to have this out of my collection and if you hear in the background my fan I can't turn it off because I will die from sweating and warmth and my baby is whiny on the other side so it's a lot of noises going on I'm hoping that my mic is gonna cancel it out a little bit but if you hear a lot of noises that's the reason why because I have a little bit of difficulties to film right now and the other nail polish that I have finished is my Essie nail polish in the shade Fashion Flares which is this glitter top coat sort of shade and as of previously I was at that line there a little bit underneath the half of mark and I have cleared every last little bit of it out one of the mixing balls actually came out last time and when I hold it towards the light it's completely see-through but I know that for you it doesn't look like that maybe and there is one mixing ball left in the bottom there which keeps twirling around the last little bits of the glitter but there is nothing I can do about this nail polish anymore I put a lot of thinner in it and I can't make any more of it to come out so it's completely finished which means and brings it to my total of four finished nail polishes since the beginning of the year which is super exciting especially for a large nail polish like SC1 I'm so excited to have that out of my collection which makes my nail polish color wheel here look like this right now so these two shades were finished previously at the beginning of the year and these are the two shades that I have finished as of right now so I am really happy about that and let me give you the progress update on the rest of the shades that I have here so firstly being this kind of darker berry reddish kind of shade and that one is from Uslu Airlines and the correct shade name I will put down below because I'm not good at pronouncing it but previously I was at let's see if the focusing will come at this line there and I moved just slightly below the line as you can see I have a very 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 slow slow moving progress on this one and the reason for that is it's a very thin nail polish you do you need to use a few coats to make it somewhat full coverage but the more coats you use the darker it gets which is not super appropriate for the summer and also nevertheless you don't need a lot of product at all to put it on the nail so I it's a slow progress but I am determined that this one will be finished someday in the future and then the next one in line is this neon yellow shade right there and that one is from Mai in the shade 605 excited and previously I was at this second to last line there and now I am down to that last line so I have also the slightest little less progress and the same thing with this one it is a very thin formula so you don't need a lot and even when you use a lot it's not the progress is not that visible unfortunately so it's a slow progress but I have every faith that I will be using these two up soon hopefully and then the next one in line here is this pale pink shade right there it is a very 
perfect nude kind of shade it comes off very white on my nails unfortunately so it's not super kind of doesn't go well with my skin tone but it's it's usable nevertheless and this one is from depend in the shade 136 and I have the littlest progress on it so the second to last line is where I was previously and now I am down to that last line so I do have a little bit of progress and the reason for the little bit of progress on the rest of them is because I have actually focused a lot on finishing the two that I have finished so I'm happy with my progress nevertheless and the last shade here this golden shade right there is from Yves Rocher in the shade 92 or Metalis and previously I was down at that that line there and I am still there I haven't touched that one at all since the last update because I haven't had the time to focus on that one and I will be trying to use it a little bit more as the summer keeps coming faster and faster and because I finished two nail polishes and I'm really bored with what I have left sort of I wanted to add in something summery that I can use when I'm on my vacation and stuff like that and I want to be able to use these ones up so I wanted to add them in right now and I added in or decided to add in three new nail polishes into the mix and it might be a little bit crazy but I think I can manage to finish these ones off and the first one here is this bright pink shade right there that you can see and this one is from Chrissy I have tried to pan this nail polish since 2005 I've been looking through all of my pen project polish uh, videos that I have in a playlist and I can link it for you here or here I'm not sure but uh, I have tried to pan this in 2005 so it's about time to finish this one off and I have the littlest amount left so I am down at that line right there so this should not be a problem to finish off it's about time to not save this and have this around um, it was really difficult to apply it on my color wheel without uh, nail polish thinner so I am thinking that this will be finished quite soon hopefully and the next one in line because I have a lot of pinks and nothing green anymore like this shade I decided to add in this very light baby blue shade with some silver sheen running through it it is extremely thin formula you need a few coats I think this is possibly about five or six coats just to get it somewhat visible this is from Golden Rose Paris and it doesn't have a shade name. This is what the bottle looks like so it's kind of a triangular bottle and I am at this point right there right now so I have more a lot more than I'm um, maybe a third of a way to finish this one so this will take me some time and it is a large bottle it's 11 milliliters and you can see it's a triangular form so it gets wider and wider towards the end so this will be a slow process and right now when I'm thinking about it adding in another thin nail polish maybe was a stupid idea but I really did want something a little bit more bluish greenish for the summer so I can use up some of those nail polishes and the last shade that I decided to add in is this beautiful kind of orangey pastel-y melon kind of shade and that one is from Yves Rocher in the shade 52 melon so this one is never used on my fingers before the only time I used it was when I put it on the colors color wheel so I am starting all the way up there so this one is brand new and will be a ton of fun to try to use up I don't even know what it would be looking like on my fingernails I hope it's a good match for my skin color and those were all of the nail polishes that I am adding in and wanting to work on throughout the next month that's coming so that will make it a one two three four five six seven nail polishes in my current rotation and a very happy color wheel don't you think I really like it and I really hope that I will have one or two nail polishes 
out of the collection until the next time but I'm so happy with the four that I have finished these four are all all of the these four are original nail polishes that I added in in at the beginning of the year so when I finish this darker reddish one I will be so happy because that would mean that all of the ones that I added in originally would be finished. So this was my update for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to check out my playlist with all of my nail polishes or project polish polishes uh, and videos because those are some of my favorites and I keep re-watching mine as well just for inspiration because I feel like a lot less people are making project polish videos nowadays and the ones that are making them they are not making any updates for a long time so I kind of miss those videos if you have one of those type of videos or some type of project pan on your channel please make sure to comment down below so I can check you out because I really really love to watch that thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you already haven't and I hope to see you in my next video